Yo, what's going on guys, it's Top for Top Blazer, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. I know it has been months since I uploaded an actual video that wasn't a montage um, or highlights, but uh, this might be a little bit of a longer intro, so before before you guys skip to the actual replay analysis, and I'll leave a timestamp in the description, I do want to say if you guys are interested in having a replay reviewed by me, because um, I am really interested in starting up the replay review series again uh you can join the discord in the link in the description it's always there uh, under every video and there is a replay review text channel where you can submit your replay file for pc only by the way just because on pc you can actually get the replay file um and the reason i like having the replay file is because i can actually go into the replay myself and look at different angles, use the fly feature, um, look at other opponents' POVs, and I think it just makes for a much more high-quality uh, replay analysis. I do have a pinned message in the replay review channel as well, uh, basically just highlighting what you should send. So, like, sometimes I, I do like to see what rank you are, just so I know, you know, what I'm looking at as well. But uh, as of right now, I am currently, let me actually show you guys, 16-29 uh, in threes, this is my peak right now, and we're still going, man, we're still going, uh, currently on the road to top 10k in the world, I think right now I'm ranked 12k, and like two days ago I was top 17k, so I've been grinding, I feel like um, these games have been a lot easier for me than like games in 15 and 1400, so... I'm sure this will go up, hopefully, but, uh, yeah, if you're, like, anything below GC2, I can definitely give some really solid advice, I feel like, um, on, you know, how to rank up, how to, how to play better individually, or just be a better teammate, um, I don't really play as much twos, I am 1500 in twos, but I think I could still give some pretty okay advice in twos as well, so, if you guys are interested, uh, feel free to leave a replay in there, and I, I can... Uh, analyze it for a video. I could even do it on stream as well if you guys want to be there and give me clarification on stuff. But yeah. Um, anyways, I'm going to talk right now about where I've been the past couple months, why I haven't been uploading um, maybe the usual content. So, first off, the last actual upload that I had that wasn't a you know yearly montage or highlights was the 1.5 million tournament credit opening and I kind of said as a joke at the end of that video that I was going to be retiring from tourney credit openings that's just because of the horrible luck I had in that video but I wasn't actually lying there's a couple reasons uh number one I, I was actually demotivated because of the bad luck um just spending all that time playing in tourneys just to get absolute crap it, it is kind of demotivating but on top of that i was playing tourneys for like a whole year and a half straight and so obviously i got burnt out from that and i just didn't want to play tourneys and then the third reason is i just simply don't have time anymore to play tournaments um some days i just don't even have time to get on a video game at all and back when i started the series that's when covid was happening and so i was always at home and i, I had a lot more time to just grind out tourneys, um, but nowadays I just don't, I don't think I ever will have the time, so that series is kind of long gone, and on top of that, it had its moment, you know, first couple seasons of free-to-play, a lot of people are definitely interested in those kind of videos, and I mean, you can see by the dramatic dip in views for everyone posting those kind of videos that, uh, it's just not, it's not popping anymore, and for videos like that that take so long to produce, it, it definitely is a, a bummer when they don't get many views. I, I personally don't care about views, but when it comes to videos that take a long time to produce, then I kind of do, right? But anyways, um, in terms of like other content, I've never really liked uploading a series like you know, road to grade champ three or something like that because um usually in a video you'll have like maybe two or three games but then 
off camera you're usually playing a lot of games so it doesn't really show the progression properly um but i think what i might do is just upload some really good games maybe that i find or do a replay review on it um because i i think that's probably the main thing i'm going to be focusing on for this channel is just replay reviews i it won't be often as i said i don't really have much time um so really the main way that i'm doing content now is just streaming um so if you guys you know want to be caught up you know be sure to check out the the twitch twitch.tv slash tough plays link in the description as well but uh yeah i've been streaming all my ranked games and the replay review you guys are about to see right now actually came from my stream um and it's just easy for me to make a video that way i can just take the 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 vod the highlight from the vod put it in my editing software maybe do some slight edits and then boom because uh, the thing about youtube videos as well is for me usually when i try to make youtube videos i like to make them high quality so that means a lot of editing um usually a lot of work into the thumbnail as well and i just as i, said, I don't have much time for that so streaming is just a much better way for me to make content but i am still going to try to occasionally put some videos on here when i can just like this one um but that's enough blabbering so if you guys enjoy this video uh please be sure to leave a like let me know uh maybe if you have any suggestions you know criticism whatever um, I know this was a long intro, by the way. I, I just wanted to kind of clear some stuff up because I haven't uploaded in so long. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I haven't uploaded in general in so long. So, yeah. Let's get into the replay. Here. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, these games are actually easier. But uh, I'm actually going to review this replay. I was contemplating... Black. Contemplating playing another game, like going till I lose, but this is fine, honestly. So, anyways, um, just playing third here. Here, oh, I like this. Here, I'm just trying to get a block because this is actually a threat. Like, this guy could literally shoot it. So, I get a really good 50 makes one guy awkward that guy ends up hitting it right back to us oh we get scored on here um so i definitely could have <sighs> there's a couple things i could have done here i think the first thing is just stay like not don't even go for this which i think is honestly the best option right um, otherwise, in order to hit this, I'd have to be closer up, but, uh, let me see here. So our teammate was still rotating back. At this point, he would have been back, right? Not really. Well, almost. But here, I probably could have been a bit more forward. Because, like, I'm not really covering anything here, right? So, if I'm more forward, I, I cover a little bit more. Because the guy behind me is already covering the shot. So, if I was a little bit further up, I was saying this, like, during the game as well. I definitely could have at least 50 this with the guy. Otherwise, at the point where I was at, I just shouldn't even go. Because um, at that point, if he shoots it, then, you know, teammate will have to save it. But um, this puts me way out of the play. If I didn't go for it, I would still be here. Um, and I could actually just go for this. But instead, what happens is uh, this guy is put in an awkward spot. Yeah, you just kind of like, yeah, it's unfortunate, but I definitely could have prevented that. I think that was their only goal, right? That was their only goal. So, right there, either just don't commit or be up a little bit more to cover some more ground. 
Uh, right here was a bad touch. Honestly, it, I think it's okay for me to commit to this. The, the reason I went... Obviously, I'm third main here, but I see my teammates already rotating back. And quite literally, all three of the opponents are facing their net. So it's not like any of them are in a position to just shoot this. So they're all... Every single one of them are facing the net. So this is... I thought this was okay to go for, but I wanted to actually hit this up to <laughs> apparently jacked. Uh, I hit it with the wrong part of my car, as you'll see. I hit it with the wheel uh, more than the corner. Also, my car was completely, like, sideways. Yeah, I, I don't know what that was. I did get the reset, but, like, obviously at that point, the reset doesn't help. Um, so I rotate back. And, uh, I notice my teammate gets demoed. I push up a little too far, so I just back up a little bit. And now I got a ball for free. Um, a lot of people here would just, like, boom this away and kind of panic. But I, I recognize that nobody is near me. Nobody's contesting. Now, unfortunately, I get a really hard touch, as you're going to see here. I did not mean to do that. I wanted to keep it close. Maybe get it on my car and just like flick it past one or two, or maybe get an air dribble. Just just something better than this. So I try to go for the 50 to salvage it. This is a really good pass from my teammate. Right there. I'm I'm not even trying to You know make excuse well, this is an excuse, but the stick drift. I've been having stick drift. It hasn't been significant. But this was one of those rare moments where I kind of felt it. Um, it. The stick drift goes to the right for me. I don't have any leftward stick drift. So like right here, I meant to pass it down to apparently jacked, which honestly, I probably could have stopped air rolling once I was facing him. But um, yeah, I could feel my car like going to the right at some point here. When I wanted to just get a hit down. Yeah. But it honestly works. You know, it's not the worst thing. Jacked gets a touch to kind of stall time. Throw him off a little bit. Um, right here, honestly. I like what I did here. Most people in my scenario would just jump for this. But it's really good to just be as grounded as you can. Grounded as possible. So, yeah, most people would just jump at this. Throw themselves at it. I tried to... Maintain a little bit of distance, just in case he, like, absolutely, he gets, like, a somewhat powerful hit. Um, then I can kind of react. Um, so right here, I see he messes up, and I'm like, okay, this is my time to go for it. Um, I don't really get the hit I wanted to, to be honest with you. I think a reason for that is just because the other guy was right on me. Um, but I wanted to, like, hit it to myself on the wall, and then follow it up. Uh, that's something I love doing. That's something that I've been doing a lot lately. Is just hitting it up and then f going to the or up on the wall and then following it up from there. But um, as you can see, I kind of just hit it away, which is honestly it's whatever. You know, teammates are ready for it anyways. Yeah, so they're ready for that. That guy missed. We get a free ball. It's a good pass. I'm waiting on his clear to the left, and uh, I feel like I could have... Yeah, at this point, I probably should be turning to the left, like, right now. Um, then I could actually hit this thing, but because I didn't, it went right past me. And to be honest with you, I shouldn't even jump at this. But it's just one of those awkward things where, like, I don't know if my teammate's directly behind me or not, so I don't want to cut him off. But, uh, I probably should use my reverse cam. I, I need to use that more, reverse cam. I don't do that as much, but I do use my right stick a lot, which is really helpful. But, uh, right here is one of those things where I can just, like, drive with the ball. And, like, you know, my teammate would definitely see me cutting towards it, so he'd let me go. And then right as the ball is about to make contact with the wall, I can probably get there and catch it and, like, start some sort of air dribble or a pass mid. Um, but because of that, team, it has to make a rush touch, which luckily 
it works out. Yo, what's up, guys? Tough from the future here. Uh, I just wanted to add a little bit more on that analysis of uh, the play where I kind of jumped at the ball uh, a little bit prematurely. So, uh, just to kind of break this down further, as we can see right here, off of this hit, um, you know, there's not really much I can do with this touch, right? Um, you know, they've got a guy on back wall, they've got a guy in net, and they've got a guy, Slop, who's tr starting to push up a little bit. Um, you know, our teammate just landed in their corner. Uh, I'm going to assume he has no boost. Eh, he does a boost. Uh, but the way this ball is going, there's really no way I can pass it to him, right? Um, obviously, our other teammate, he is quite a way, or quite a bit behind me, right? So whatever touch I get here, it's just going to be really hard for us to really capitalize off of it. Because both of my teammates, they can't play off of it. So it's got to just be all me. But the way their defense is set up... You know, even me trying to go for a shot here, that's just not really going to work. If I try to hit a backboard, that guy's on the backboard. So, I mean, you know, realistically, I could go for a corner double tap, but that's just, nah, that, that's a little extreme, okay? Um, so the best option here, the reason why I was kind of mentioning, you know, this option of staying grounded here and just driving with the ball as it goes here, assuming... That I was, you know, checking my reverse cam. Because if I was, I would have seen this guy was quite a bit behind me. And so I could actually drive towards this. And he wouldn't really be thrown off. He would be able to kind of readjust how he positions based off that. He'd see me going off the wall with it. And he'd be like, hey, you know what? I can get myself open for a pass mid. And so then all of a sudden, I'm here with the ball. Um... I mean, okay, realistically, it'll bounce, like, up to here. So I can catch it here, and from there, I have control of it, and I can do whatever. I can air dribble. I can get a pass out. Um, at this point, you know, I'm sure Jacked would have been midfield, ready for some sort of pass. Uh, our teammate, he would be rotating back, getting ready to be third. Um, so it would have been much better, and we'd be able to actually break down their defense as a team. Because as you can see right here, Cloudburst is starting to push up. So already we're getting one guy, you know, away from their net. And just like that, assuming I get air dribble, or assuming uh, air dribble wouldn't really be the best play here probably, um, just because you'd have to get it past all three. But assuming I get a good pass here, you know, whether that, I, I think John John probably would have rotated behind, you know, if Jack would have gone up. But either way, Somebody would have been available for a mid pass, and so I'd, you know, hit him with the pass, assuming it's good enough, right? It can get past cloud burst, and all of a sudden, you know, you got two guys to worry about, and um, you know, assuming cloud burst miss, he'll probably be in our half of the field. And at that point, it's a 3v2, and you can break down their defense even further before Cloud Burst gets a chance to get back. And uh, you're essentially just making it easier to get a goal, right? Uh, I see a lot of times players try to go for a shot against, you know, a perfect defensive setup where one guy's back wall, one guy's, you know, covering net back post, and another guy's a little bit more pushed up, ready to kind of contest the midfield, any sort of passes that may come about, or, you know, contesting any threatening dribble plays so um you know sometimes if they just give the ball for free to you uh take it and uh, allow your allow your offense to get set up you know if their defense is already in shambles then it you know it might be fine to pressure them and uh try to break down their defense as quick as you can but um yeah this is just another little in-depth breakdown that I kind of thought of in my mind as I was editing the video, so hopefully this helps. Here, I'm just kind of waiting, and as soon as I see all three of them on my screen, I'm not panicking. Um, that's something that a lot of players do 
when they're last man or even when they're just on defense in general, they just panic a lot. So they make a non-threatening situation more threatening. Essentially, they're helping the opponents. Um, but right here, I'm like, okay, I have time. I'm just going to catch this. To be honest with you, I wanted a better catch where it didn't bounce. Um, but it's fine. I get a 50 to the left, which is perfect because my teammate is already going in that direction. It's a little bit awkward for Cloudburst because he's going to have to like turn back in for this. So as you can see, he just gets completely beat. And just like that, we're back on offense. And we almost get a goal there. It's a little bit of a double commit. Unfortunately, didn't go in. Um, right here, I actually just kind of wanted to shoot it, uh, but a little bit higher. Reason for that is both my teammates, they're, they're rotating back. So, um, I wanted to like shoot it up here. Because really, there's no other option of passing. Um, and right here, this ball is just... I, I could maybe 50, but once again, there's nobody on my team to follow it up. So if I 50 this, Cloudburst is right there for the follow-up. So really, the best option here is just to, to get a touch, you know. And I guess that was alright, because at that point, both my teammates are already kind of back. So Jack just turns in for that. Um, right there, Jack is still field, so it works. And uh, we get our first goal right there. So, let's see. I just want to rewatch the sequence. Yeah, so good challenge. One of their guys is in our half for some reason. Uh, who is that? Is it? Oh, it's. Okay, he had no boost, so what did he do? Oh yeah, bro is just jumping at that for no reason. Um, I, this guy's camera settings, I'm gonna be honest, they're not good. Uh, you can't really see much of the field, or much of your surroundings with these camera settings, which, the information is very important. Um, so right here, you just can't see the guy. Even then, you probably should have heard him jump, but regardless, that was a really, really nice goal. Just playing third in case something goes wrong. Here I I notice there's a chance for me to come in. I realize at that point or at this point I can definitely beat these guys to the ball. I'm supersonic. Uh, both of them are not. Even though I'm a little bit further back, um, I should still be able to you know, get there in time. And uh, these guys they can't really see me that well. So slop he wanted to you know control the ball which is smart, but not in this case, because I'm going right at him, so, I see this guy going, and I just try to go for a pinch, and it somehow worked, um, just a little bit of a panic from these guys, I guess, like, realistically, in this situation, it's going into their corner, so, Ginger really shouldn't touch this, if anything, Slop should touch it, but... Uh, we get the goal out of that, so we'll take it. And from here, we just get a bunch of goals in a row. Let's see, we did well. So far, I don't think I've done anything too poorly. I think boost management's been decent. Um, yeah, like here, I'm still at 91 boost, just saving it. Right here, this was all my teammates. Um... Yeah, this is very... Very interesting. The the thing right here is nobody's on the back wall. So was it shootable for I'm curious, like what could the defense have done here? That is technically shootable, but like he went up super weird for this. Like as soon as I see this and I'm slop. What does it look like in his POV? I could technically shoot it. But I think he pushes up too far here. Yeah, bro is going like right under the ball. If he went back post here, uh, this is something he could still probably jump up to and contest. But because he didn't, uh, 
Jacked can get there first. Yeah. Just goes right behind him. So, quite a big mistake from the opponent there, but... Good play. Let's see right here. Um... So here, this was my mindset, right? I'm like, okay, he's gonna have an air dribble. I can't really, I don't want to commit to this, cause I don't, I don't think it's gonna do much. Jack just still gotta get boost, um, and I'll probably be at zero boost anyways. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go for this mid boost. But then I realize, okay, I don't really want to get out of the play too much. I'm just gonna stay grounded, take my time. So I go back, and then I grab. This corner boost right i just let my teammate deal with it because it's just a much better hit for him and uh, i get the corner boost and now as a result slop how much boost does he have he has one boost he can't get the corner boost now the mid boost is still there um if i took it i mean it wouldn't really have mattered because i wouldn't have taken the corner boost probably but it's still fine um but anyways, I'm just playing deep third here. Right here, I notice I have a lot of time. So what I opt to do is instead of go for an air dribble, because this is not a good air dribble setup, I choose to let it hit the ground and then go for a 50. Um, it's not the best 50, you know, just because it goes right to them. Um, but it's... Uh, it's definitely better than just, like, booming it right into one of these guys who are waiting for me to do that. And them just shooting it downfield while my team is still recovering. So, slowing down the play, like, this is honestly fine because it allows my team to recover. The other guy turned in. I do get a little bit of a bump, actually, so... Just... Yeah, I, I kind of bump him. It doesn't move him, but I guess it, like, psychologically, like, it mentally threw him off. So it doesn't really get a good touch. Um, so there I just light touch it, get the boost, 50 it back to my teammate. And here I was like, oh, maybe I could pass mid, but I miss. It's fine though, because this guy, he's still there, so he can just follow it up. Here I'm just playing third, I got 50 boost, very solid, now I can just go towards this ball. I don't even take that boost, because I don't need it. A lot of people in this situation, they'll use up the rest of their boost to go for this, and um, my teammate needed it more. I got that one pad, I'm at 43 boost. Jacked is, well, he has a decent amount, but he has less than me. So, giving him that 100 is huge. After that, I don't even do anything fancy. I literally just hit it mid. Like, I just drive into the ball at an angle, and it goes mid. And it's a super awkward touch for them, because one of them pre-jumped, and I guess the other guy... The other guy didn't read the bounce. So... He ends up getting a bad touch. It goes right to Jack, who has a good double opportunity. It's a very hard shot, just because uh, he was very close to the... Or there wasn't much distance between him and the backboard, but... We still get an opportunity out of that, just for me... Uh, playing this whole sequence... Pretty, uh... Pretty slow and safe. So right here, I'm just going back a little bit. Just trying to play third. Uh, there I don't commit, which is good, and I save a little bit of boost, because there's not much I can do. I think the worst thing is, what a lot of players do, is, um, when they're in a bad position, and they're, like, not getting to the ball a lot, they'll try to just force themselves at it, even if they're in a bad spot. Sometimes it's fine to just, like, drive around the field, and not commit to bad stuff, rather than... What am I trying to say? Like, it's better to just not commit to bad stuff all the time and, and, and not be going for the ball as much instead of thinking, oh, I have to go for the ball. I haven't been hitting it that much. And then uh, you just kind of troll, basically. Uh, speaking of trolling, right here, I just didn't have trust in my teammate. To be fair, I have had teammates miss this kind of save before. So... Um, I, but apparently Jack, he's good at the game, so I don't know why I didn't trust him, but yeah. Um, it, it's kind of bad, right, because we're all in the corner, but 
I do get back in time to a point where I can 50 it. I would have loved to get a beat, but it's honestly a decent 50 because they're very awkward. I don't know why that. I don't know what they're doing. Good touch from my teammate. I realize that I'm second here, so. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> the team's just too good. And then we do score one more goal. Let's see. I do get the boost. So if we look at slops. Oh, wait, did he get it? No, we didn't get it. He just got a pad. Okay. He still had a decent amount of boost. He was going for both the corner and the mid. That was kind of cringe. But I did take it from him. He did demo me, though. So, yeah, right here, I respawned. Okay, right here, I had a little bit of momentum going into this. I think I was holding my right trigger, my accelerate button, as it's going up. So, that's why this was a little bit sketchy. But I try to make sure I hit this to the right, because I noticed my teammate is on the right now. Granted, he's not facing me, but... He does turn into this place, so it works. As long as he's in the general area. Yo, what's up, Mystic? Yes, sir, 1629. And then, yeah, that was a really good play. Jack was already up. Good pass. Good game. Solid. Honestly, I felt like I played pretty good this game. Um... I think the main thing that I did well is just not committing to a lot of stuff that I didn't have to. Uh, boost management was great. I didn't really find myself starved at all. I think like a year ago, I, I would probably have zero boost this entire match. So, yeah, but pretty solid.